Elton and I have sort of struck up a friendship w uh, during the uh, dance orchestra, John Stevens dance orchestra thing, because actually I thought, oh, this guy, oh, he's the guy from Soft Machine. So again, it was kind of like, oh, I want to know Rich, and you know, oh yeah, and so, and Bill, and oh, oh yeah, yeah, you know. So there was a kind of like, oh right, okay, yeah, well, let's do some, so yes, it did, it went on from there. And yeah, of course, I, I used to go to uh, the Dole office on the same day as Alan, because Alan Gowan lived just up the road from me. I never played with him, unfortunately. I would have loved to play with Alan, but he was, uh, he was quite ill and was getting iller. Uh, so uh, uh, that didn't happen. But um, yeah, um, obviously after he passed away, I'd been, you know, hammering, with that, hammering it with Elton quite a lot. And, uh, it was Elton who suggested, you know, on and Pitt, I think, must have remembered me and, you know, that was a sort of part, of, became part of it really. I didn't, you get to know people anyway, but yeah. you're not formally know, know uh, playing with them, you know, so, yeah, yeah that's, that's, <laughs> I remembered that, yeah, I'd forgotten that one. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, ba the band you joined then immediately changed completely as a result of you joining it, right? Because it was it was a band playing compositions, and then it was it became a completely free improv thing from the moment you joined, right? Exactly. Uh, the, the, there was never any attempt to play a, any of the pieces they used to. Never. Play. They really didn't want to. Yeah. And frankly, it would have, in some way, been the wrong thing to do, because that I do believe is kind of like that's what that particular line does. It doesn't stay the same. Mm -hmm. It goes all over. Yeah. That's what that line does. And for me, I was incredibly privileged to be there at that particular time because some of the concerts were unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, I've, I've got plenty of stories of them. Maybe, but but what about the, the chemistry of those particular people? It's yeah. Quite, you, you oh, it's the Beatles. It was the Beatles, man. <laughs> oh yeah. So let's remind people: it's, it was Elton, Pip, and John Greaves at yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, quite quite a, a, an interesting assortment of uh, musicians. There wasn't anything we, anything else we could have actually played. I mean, the melodic aspect is always there if you listen it's always there whatever else happens <laughs> that happens just anyway it's possibly the the one of the more happenstance groups that i've ever been simply because of the chemistry yeah again it was I, you could feel it on stage scary shit. <laughs> scary shit man <laughs> Uh, technology played a, a part uh, there as well because Pip was using his Simmons drums and you were beginning to venture into synth guitars as well. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, that was another thing which is the very early days, of course, because Pip had the first Simmons kit which got used along the way um, on, those, um, on those gigs. I mean, it was always very, it was quite noisy, but it was used as a, as a noise production thing. I mean, he used to have it on the side of the, on his side there, and the um, he would mainly use the kit. But then, yeah, when things went over a certain over a certain hill, you you come down the other side with that, yeah, and then I'd start. I mean, I'd be using anything I could really at the time. I was a big brass bars and apply application of things to the strings.